Jebediah Kerman looked upon his grand space plane. He thought, will this fly? Who knows? He approaches the runway. Very calm. Look at the swagger on this guy. Does he not know what he's in for? Can he reach the ladder? Oh! Ignore that. That was a mistake. He's cool under pressure, is our Kerman. Okay, he can't reach the ladder. Join us when we try again. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Jebediah is doing his final checks, making sure he's got his sandwiches. Okay, he's got his sandwiches. So let's fire up the rocket. Here we go. Can he control it? No! Jebediah Kerman, no! That was an abject failure. Let's try and do better. Hello and welcome to Maze Tries! And this might look a bit different from Wim Wimworld? Wimworld! Rimworld! This is Kerbal Space Program. Now, our first successful flight wasn't that successful, but it did get me thinking, what is the stupidest plane we can build with the stock parts? Now, I am playing in this, this in sandbox mode for reasons that I don't have to unlock everything, essentially. And we're going to try and build some pretty stupid rockets. So, or planes, I suppose, would be the the more accurate term. We're going to build some space planes. So, what I'm thinking, I love these guys. Let's build <coughs> just a standard one. Four rockets on the back. <coughs> and some wings on. Will it fly? We will never know. Well, we will know. We'll find out very soon. Do do do. It's but only some small wheels on this. It doesn't need anything fancy. Just needs to stand up on the runway. So will this launch? This is just a standard fuel tank with some small engines on the back. Will this fly? Now I do know people do some crazy stuff in this game. Okay, maybe not, because it's bounced the wrong way. But... Okay, so... In theory, yes, it will fly. Pull up the wheels. Pull up the wheels. Okay, so successful flight one. I'm calling that a success. Let's see if we can improve on that idea. He's okay, ladies and gentlemen. I see a thumb. He's okay. So let's see what, in fact, no, let's not do planes, let's go and do rockets. Let's build the silliest rocket we can. So, let's use our standard fuel tanks. And see how much thrust we need. Now I know there's calculations you can do for all this, but that's boring. We're here to try, not talk. So let's try four of these little, uh, eight of these little rockets. Don't know why I said four. It's almost like I can't count. So will this reach altitude? Who knows? We're not going to be doing any orbital insertions. We are literally going to fire it up and see what happens. So actually, very slowly, it, it looks pretty stable. That leads me to another idea. So very stably with gaining speed but we're not going up ridiculously we've got a bit of wobble on so turn our SAS on stop the wobble or the turn and yes this will launch I'm actually surprised what's the efficiency like we could probably get this into orbit you know with a bit more firepower how about if we try and turn it wow this is an incredibly stable rocket I mean, there's no reason for it not to be, but... No, I, I feel abjectly like we failed there. That wasn't meant to happen, it was meant to go wrong! Crash it into the ground! Jebediah Kerman don't need no... Uh, 
Insurance. He is insurance himself. So, what's the stupidest thing? So this works. All right. One idea is if we go and grab. We want the sp like the space station connector points. Is it this one? Well, let's try. Put that on there. Yeah, that kind of works. It'll be a bit uglier than I was hoping for. But it'll work. So attach one of these. I want to attach it. Come on. There we go. Attach that there. And... I love the fact the music makes me sound like I'm doing something naughty. Dum, 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 dum. Put another one on. And then we'll just repeat. I know there is a click to copy button, but this game's been updated so many times since I last played it. I can't remember all the buttons. Stick another cockpit on. And eight of these, please. Alright, staging's fine because they're both going to fire. Let's see if this one will launch. Could we get a whole space station up into space using nothing but small thrusters and building it like it's going to be up there in space? Okay, no. So we've hit a point here. Our thrust to weight ratio must be wrong. Which is interesting. So let's try and drain the fuel out of there. The recover vessel. Let's drain the fuel out of the middle tank. And see if that one will help. Because I don't see why it's not. So, drain you a fuel. Because my main idea is if this lifted up, we were going to use that to split fuel into the two rocket engines. But it didn't work. Right, so try this. Let's try our super stable rocket. Is it lifting? It looks like it wants to. Alright, let's tilt it. Yeah, we've, we've, li we've got a tiny, tiny bit of lift. But we're not going up. Oh, we like this. Looks like we've got a walker. Oh, now I've said that, we're going to have to build a walker. That might be an experiment for another day, but can we build a rocket that will walk? So, recover vessel. Those engines are not powerful enough. Good to know. So let's upgrade our rocketry. Ooh! In fact, because we're upgrading the rocketry, we can make the rocket itself bigger. Or the payload, which is going to be this top part. So let's get some more fuel tanks. With the naughty music going on. Zoom in. There we go. I remember that command. Alright. Snap. There we go. And we want some more four-way connectors. Sure and structural. Four-way connector. This could solve everyone's space problems. How to get a space station up. I'll just send it up as it is. It seems pretty fine to me. Alright. There you go. And do 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 fuel tank. I know I could be using other things than fuel tanks. I don't know why, I just like these ones. So drain all the fuel out of them. This is only gonna be the base for our gigantic space station. This isn't gonna be more than that. Uh fuel tanks, I want these but with fuel in please. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't see why this wouldn't work. Yeah, it's a bit ungamely, but if it's all balanced... Zoom out. If it's all balanced, this should work. Hmm, interesting. So stick some more cockpits on to make sure that it's exactly the same weight. Take these off. And we need a rocket for this, or an engine. So go onto the actual engines tab, would help. And we can go for the Reliant. Let's go for Reliance everywhere. 
Do do do. More reliant. Right, all the staging is correct as well. So let's try launching this bad boy. The square cuboid. It's a square boid. Now, I know that these rockets can hold more, like, push more than the fuel. So this should, in theory, actually launch. Turn SAS on to give us the best chance. And there we go. It is actually launching. We can't control it. We can't seem to get it into orbital insertion territory. I suppose. But my god, that actually works. So we can send in a square into space. The first square ever into space. I mean, we are using a lot of fuel, and you'd have to build an ungainly rocket to hold this. But is it a proof of concept? I'm pretty happy. Let's... Let's expand. So there we go. That took a lot more building than I thought. But let's see if this bad boy will launch. And I was thinking, it's very unfair to send Kerman up in this death trap. Let's load up every single space with a Kerbal. Let's see what happens. Will we be able to have an instant space station for the cost of a few Kerbal's lives? And they said gerbils because my gerbils are named after this game. All right, not after this rocket. So it's almost too big to fit on the the launch pad. It's kind of scary, but let's moment of truth. Oh no, we've lost one of them. One of these has gone weird, and we're turning over. Why are we turning over? What's going on? Why is this corner heavier? It should all be exactly the same. It should all be exactly the same. What's going on? Why have these ones not fired? Oh, they have. Alright. Okay, so this hasn't worked. That's very strange. I wonder why it turned over. Alright, goodbye, Kerbals! Goodbye! And that day... Oh, is there one survivor? KIA. There you go, there was the final splashdown. Let's try and relaunch that, I don't know why it flipped over. 2.2G is not that much. And let's look. Nothing seemed to fail. So let's turn try with SAS off. And fire! Okay, this part is clipping through again. And yes, apparently it's got a weird lean to it. So instant space station? Maybe not. But it looks cool. Let's get behind it. We may do some refinements, but this has been the first experiment on Kerbals for May's Let's Plays. So, now let's watch all our brave Kerbals go plummeting into the ground. Such a tragic waste of Kerbal life. Catch you next time, folks. Upon closer inspection after the crash, we discovered that this one, the one that was freaking out, didn't have a connector at the top, so I've, re I've gone and replaced it, so let's try this launch. We've called it the Square Cube. Let's give it a save, since I replaced that part. And let's try it. I don't know why it didn't work. This one should. Let's see. Alright, on the launch pad. Everyone got your sandwiches. We're all ready. And go! It's a lot more stable. This side's really lifting high. Okay, now, for some reason, this corner seems to be heavier than this corner. And it's lagging out my game a little bit. 
Why is this corner better than that corner? I guess we'll never know. Cut the engines. Oh, I should have put parachutes on. Okay, fire the engines now we're hitting the ground. Should have packed more sandwiches! They were laced with cyanide! Ah! Kaboom.